went, how they went about coming in my house, I wouldn't have believed that they were the police. And I have all the rights to protect my house. What's that? I said I would like to do some tests to make sure you get the drop. He said he I'm wanted a supervisor. The They're putting him in handcuffs. Look at him, crying and upset because he's tired of the bullshit too. Hello guys, something happens with YouTube and it stopped recommending my videos to you. So I really need your activity. I don't make any money from it, all my reviews with yellow monetization, so I only need support. If you like my videos, please support me with likes and comments and let's get started. I'm not the yes, yes, you, you are! are. You okay. sure the f are! You're not detain me, touch my uh, shit, get out of my way! I'm not getting yes, out of Yes, you way. are. Really, cut. Get out of my way. Don't touch me. Don't touch uh, my this girl, merchandise, girl. I don't know if it's going to I paid for it. Call 911. I don't give a f. He's a police officer off so duty. Wanna, hey, sir, off are you in the with my investigation right now? Man, I'm nobody's in the Don't touch me. Right. Don't touch me, bro. All right. All right. I'm recorded all, baby. Don't worry. I'm a recorded all. You don't get lost here, buddy, because I paid for all my shit, buddy. It's right here. It's on the, it's on the cameras that we check with. It doesn't matter. This doesn't say Then why do you, you have the it's option? Why the f*** do you have it's the wrong, option bro. on your self-checkout to get an email or a print the receipt? Why do you have that option? Why do you have that option? Just one video ago, I was saying that Walmart was starting to show up too often in my videos. Usually people are accused of theft and the cops don't even look at the cameras. But this guy has a receipt for all his purchases and the cops don't care as usual. I paid for my eyes. I paid for my eyes. You see what they're doing here? I paid for it. This is a Sam's Club. I'm a member of Sam's Club. This right here is my hand. So how do you want to handle this? Take the receipt. So show me the receipt. How about that? It's in my mother hand. Like a fucking man. He is your. Who the f are you talking to like that? No, I'm not. Just because. How do you want to handle this? Who the f do you think you're talking to? What's your name and right? Who do you think you're calling a man? Officer Norrington, I'm letting you see it. Believe me, I'm seeing it. Look at the receipt in my hand. It's going to be on Facebook. Everywhere on Facebook. It's on the cash register that we check receipts. Okay, then why on your self checkout do you give me the option to print my receipt or email it? Why is that an option? And one of the most frequent incidents lately has been cops breaking into innocent people's homes. Now we will uh, look at two such cases, the first of which uh, at least didn't result in death. Does not see from across my right? No, no. He, he said he's right to this right here. The man who lives in the house said he never would have known about the police presence had it not been for uh, the cameras he had recently installed. The officers who announced uh, they were from the Chicago Police Department split up and searched the house. After a few minutes, they left when they realized they had entered their own house. The man who had more questions than answers said uh, he was just thankful his family wasn't home at the time. Friends. I've always recommended putting a DVR in the car, but it looks like uh, it's time we put cameras inside the house as well. Honestly, was just in shock. I didn't, I didn't understand what was going on. Um, they had no reason to be looking for me, so I was like, "What are y'all doing?" I'm just glad it was the, the crib was empty, because it could have went left again. Me seeing the way it went, how they went about coming in my house, I wouldn't have believed that they were the police and I have all the rights to protect my house. The dog wasn't in the house, and I thank God he wasn't because they probably would have killed him. I mean, he's specialized, trained in security, so if he'd have seen somebody trying to come in the house that he's not familiar with, he would have did what he's supposed to do, and I'm sure they would have protected the chase cells as well. And the following video is a small victory over corrupt officials, but at the same time, a situation after which I am left with several questions uh, that we need to discuss. Give me a rundown on what happened and how we ended up here. I don't know. I was heading home. Where were you heading from? I was heading home from the restaurant. Which one? I'm not sure what to say. 
So you don't know where you went to dinner? No, I went to the thing home from... You don't, I, 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 you don't know which restaurant you went to? Well, I went to... What was it in downtown? No, was it, it in the was West right, End? it was right here. What I want to do is I want to do some tests to make sure you get the drive, okay? What's right. that? I said I would like to do some tests to make sure you get the drive, okay? I'm not driving. You're not driving anymore. No. You okay? Yeah. Right, well, that's what I said. I want to make sure you are good to drive. Because the whole reason we're here is because your car is currently upside down on the road. Yeah. So I want to make sure you're good to drive. Yeah, I'm not driving. I understand you're not currently, okay? Yeah. All right, so can you stand right here for me? Yeah. Right on my flashlight beam, right there. What I would like you to do is put your feet together. You ask me why am I showing this video? The cops are absolutely right. The woman is obviously drunk and there is nothing to discuss. The fact is that the video is not of an ordinary person but of a Robin Comey deputy. This shows us a situation where not only cops enjoy their impunity, but officials think uh, they can do anything. What I'd like you to do is look at the tip of my pen with your eyes, and your eyes only, keep your head still, okay? Do you understand? Yes. Keep your head still. Uh, you want me to... Yeah, I would just want you to follow the tip of my pen with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Yep. One. I want you to imagine there's a straight line right here. You can begin. One, two, three, four, five. Continue the test. Do you remember the instructions I gave you? Yeah. And then you were supposed to keep your front foot on the line and take a series of small steps with the other foot and return with nine heel toe steps on the line. <laughs> I'm not sure what any of that means. Do you want to try it again and want me to give you the instructions again? Yeah. Okay, let's come back over here. Point. At the time she was detained, the cops didn't know who was uh, in front of them. But when the investigation began, some interesting facts emerged. Did you see the street where she was sitting? The street is quite busy, and the police found no witnesses who observed uh, the accident or video from nearby buildings. And Kami herself was uh, released on a written promise to appear in court. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Put your hands around your back corner. I'm gonna explain it to you. I'm gonna bring listen, I'm gonna bring you over to my car so you have a little more privacy. And now I will tell you about another situation uh, where the cops broke into their own house. But uh, this time the situation ended tragically. Unfortunately, the video from the body camera uh, is not shown to us yet, but there are some pictures. Family members in Hazel Green say Madison County Sheriff's Office representatives got their own house and took the life of the wrong person. Relatives of the man confirmed that he died of his injuries. A statement uh, from the Madison County um, Sheriff's Office said Ray King, uh, 50 years old, was shot and killed. The deputies involved in the shooting have been placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of the um, investigation. According to the sheriff's office, police officers were patrolling the area when they received a report of shots fired on Dixon Road. The shots uh, were allegedly caused by a domestic situation near one of the homes. A TV reporter arrived at the scene around midnight. He witnessed a woman drive up run up to the officers and with tears in your eyes uh, say, that's my dad. Nearly 40 minutes later, he had uh, loud screaming and crying from the scene. Danny Owen, a resident who lives near the sand, said he and his wife had uh, eight shots around uh, 11 p.m. The saddest part, friends, is that for the cops, this is one situation uh, where colleagues will have to be somehow brushed off. But for the family and school uh, where this man worked, this is a tragedy. I well, we're laying in the bed watching TV and heard a set of gunshots. Uh, so we come outside to check it out and didn't hear anything else. So we went back inside. 
Uh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes later, another set of gunshots, a longer set of gunshots came. And the following video is another illegal search. I'd like to show you. But before we start, let's hear what the driver himself thinks happened and then consider his video. Hi, my name is Edward Velasquez and on March 27th, 2022 at approximately 8 p.m. I was traveling southbound on Route 260 in Calvert County, Maryland when I was stopped for a headlight being out. Officer Mister came to my car and after I provided the necessary information, he came back and said he smelled the odor of marijuana in the car. I, like I said, I'm detecting the odor of marijuana, which is probable cause near Houston to bell. I told him that that was not probable cause, that he had no right to search my car. He requested for backup after I requested for the supervisor. Uh, backup came, Officer Diamond unlawfully unlocked my car door and searched my car with Officer Mister. Don't reach in my car. You see this bullshit? While Officer Tavares claimed he believed he knew the law. And now let's move on to the video itself. The link to the original, as always, I will leave in the description so you can support the author and watch the full version. And I leave only the most interesting. Oh, that's a so why you search my car? So it's still probable cause to search it. Yeah. Until, I believe it's July, either this year or next year. You believe? Either it's, it's either this summer or next summer. Do you hear that, right? Do you hear that, right? He believes okay. that it's either this summer or next There's summer that probable cause is anymore. Again, here we are. What was your name? Deputy Mister. Like I said, I'm the odor of marijuana, which is probable cause and you're refusing to step out. I'm not refusing. I simply asked for a supervisor to come down here. I'm asking, I'm asking for a supervisor to come down here. Okay. I will, I will give you my marijuana card, gladly. Okay, well, we can get to that point, but... There's no marijuana in the card. Okay, well... So I'm you're just... wasting my time and yours. Okay, well, I mean, it's only taking longer for you to... I, well, I'm already... I'm losing money. I already lost the money. I had to cancel the dash over a headlight. And if you wanted me to step out of the car, you're gonna have to drag me out of the car or get the supervisor down here like I requested. I think the cops are only too happy to find any reason to throw you out of the car. So we'll see soon enough. But cases like these uh, always remind us that cops should always be filmed. Of course you're gonna call for backup. You're Calvert County, you have nothing better to do. Okay. So, man. Deputy Diamond, Calvert County Sheriff's Office. Yeah. Okay. Just so letting you know, marijuana is still probable cause to search the vehicle, okay? So what I'm gonna need you to do is I'm gonna need you to get out of the vehicle for me. Don't reach in my car. You see this bullshit? Yeah. Look, the reach into my car, unlawfully search. I know my laws, go ahead. I'm on I, I, I'm on a boot too. I just had ankle fusion. Come on out for me. Yeah, talk to Poppy. What does he do? Come on out for me. What does he do? He's gonna get out of the car as well and step back here with you. That's what all I asked. That's all I asked. So if you don't understand, we're right here by the back. He's 13. I got you. Everything on the screen. Stick me, poke me, come me. I have a knife on the side of me. Bottom and patch it down. Go ahead. Take it off me. That's for DoorDash. I got you. Every officer who participated in this interaction should be held accountable for his illegal actions. This is an absolute disgrace. Everything these cops uh, have done is illegal. Just turn around and face the coffin. What's your name, buddy? Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Okay, what's Don't answer name? that. Don't answer that. You are 13. Do here, not bro. answer that. Step back over. Do not answer that. I have a headlight out, I guess. I haven't even been able to step to the front of my car, so I don't know if I actually have a headlight out or not. And they're searching my car for the odor of marijuana. Even though I'm a medical patient and perfectly allowed to have marijuana, medical marijuana, I have none on me. It's fine, but it's cold as shit. I told him that in the first place, yes. It's in my wallet. It's in the center console. Hey, Don, he's got a medical marijuana card. I told him that in the first place. He didn't care. So, Mister didn't care. It's, it is decriminalized. Yes. It's not a criminal. Under 10 grams, it's not a criminal. Okay. It's a civil thing. 
something that still means it's not legal. It's still illegal. Okay. It's just, it's a civil suit. It's, a, it's just a ticket. It's medical marijuana. Right. So the sad thing is that these cops don't care only about the man, but also about uh, his children. They stopped the car because of a faulty headlight, which by the way wasn't proven. But for some reason they pester the children as well. We're here. Yes, I understand. On the side of the road, freezing our asses off for nothing. For nothing. Search my car, search the bag, search everything, search my trunk. Hurry the hell up. It's bullshit. I'm freezing. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Crying and upset because he's tired of the bullshit too. I'm tired of being harassed, tired of the bullshit. I'm sick and tired of it. I will be filing a complaint against all these officers, even though it doesn't matter. And their sheriff's department's getting sued anyways by the ACLU. Doesn't matter. They love to plant shit on people all the time. I know what's in my car. This is the difference between white and Hispanic. If I was white, if this was you, you'd be on your way. But because I'm Hispanic, they thought he was over 18. They asked for his ID. They're getting me upset. It's this. It's happened so many times. I'm tired of it. They see a Mexican in the car. They're like, ooh, Mexican Cavacani. Let's pull him over. Friends, you can see for yourselves uh, what is happening. Of course, they will let go. But I hope that this man will sue these tyrants to at least change his attitude toward himself and his children. It's fucking ridiculous. Asshole number one, number two, and number three. I know, buddy. I know. Wait till it happens to their family. Wait till it happens to their kids. And their kids are sitting on the side of the road freezing their asses <laughs> off. Wait till it happens to their kids. Can't wait. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> Find anything yet? He didn't answer my question, so I guess that's a no. Huh, like I said in the first place. Like I said, I had a medical, mar medical marijuana card in the first place, but that didn't fucking matter. Now we're sitting here on the side of the road, freezing our asses off. Did you find anything, officer? Huh? No, I didn't hear you. No, oh, no, no, he didn't find anything! And what happened to before the arrest in the following video? Unfortunately, no one had time to film, but I believe the woman's words because her husband was released after a few minutes. Let's watch the video and I will tell the information from her words said was that I'm he wanted a supervisor. a supervisor. They're putting him in handcuffs. I'm requesting a supervisor. They asked for his ID. He said, why? He said, um, asked the questions nicely, calmly, and got yelled at and spit on. And now he's been put in handcuffs. What, what crime have I committed? We ID everybody in the crime have I committed? Failure to provide identification. He didn't fail. He asked a question. Well, are you an attorney? Are you an attorney? Did you go to attorney school? Did you go to attorney school? You want it? You got it. Wait, will you come up here, please? <coughs> Ma'am, I'm going to ask you nice and quietly to put that phone down. I'm not putting my phone down. Well, I have the right to record you. This is for my husband's safety and my husband's safety only. According to the woman, she and her husband arrived at the gas station. Then they noticed that uh, the officers were following them. And as soon as the couple left the gas station, the officers caught up with them and stopped them. Let's watch another passage and I'll continue the story. Clearly you don't have rights in this county. You just made an assumption that he has a warrant? You made an assumption? No, oh, I know it's illegal. He asked a question why he had to show his ID. That's all he asked. It was unnecessary force. We're allowed. That's it. You said we do it to everybody, but it's not. It's not. That was like excessive. Plain and simple. But you didn't ask a question. He just asked. He asked a question, though, sir. No, you didn't. You got aggressive and started yelling and spit on him. As soon as somebody asks a question, it's not the time not to be nice. That's a question. 
That's all it was, sir. Can I help you? Hey, how are you doing? Good. My, my husband that needs the help. Tell me what's going on. He just came and asked my husband for his ID after he asked me and he literally said, um, he just asked a question. The man immediately asked uh, what he was stopped for, but the cop just started asking for an ID. In response, uh, the man asked uh, why he had to show the ID if he had done nothing wrong. At this point, the cops handcuffed him. Nicely, he said, asked him, sir, why do you need my ID? Okay. It's not a, we, we he said, everybody that's what he, that's what he said, but he yelled. Okay. He screamed at my husband and then he started spitting on him. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, so, okay. and he assumes my husband has warrants. Who doesn't? Okay. We don't have any warrants. We just found out about the tag, and we're okay. getting it fixed this week. You have court Friday for it. Gotcha. And that's all. That's correct, and we can. That's fine. I mean, that's that's on. Um, that's you can talk to my husband. If he ain't got no problem, then why? he has no problem. There's no issue with showing it. It was the way they yanked him out the car. They didn't give him a chance. They literally yelled at him and then yanked him out the car within seconds. There was not a chance. Well, I, I there was no to conversation that. to. Get the ID. He asked a question, and they they went aggressive. Okay. We, we have this happen all the time, and most of the time when people do not give us their ID, it wasn't. He didn't refuse well, saying, they, by any means. Time. There was right. no refusal. It was just a question well, of he why. Still give it to him, no, right? he will because they've had him in here. They yanked him out the car. They didn't give him a chance. So it took him to be in handcuffs before he would give him his. No, ID. he was never refused. Friends, write your opinions in the comments. I think we have a lot to discuss. I promise that I will read. Every comment. He okay. said why? And they because went we, rah we and they went rah. But they went rah rah. Okay. <laughs> so there wasn't a chance. There wasn't a, a time. A yeah. There wasn't a time where they asked him. I, I'll get it for you. No, I want his ID. We're going to get him ID. Just that's, give that's him your ID. He said they'll let you Where's go. Your ID? Where is it, honey? Oh. All right. Jeez. They went zero to a thousand really quick and that was just unnecessary completely. I don't know why that escalated like it did. That was the part that's upsetting. You can't ask questions here, clearly. No, I'm serious. Have a lovely day. You have my, uh, he has my ID, sir. Who has your ID? He does. Yeah. All right, thank you. You're welcome. You guys have a good one. You too. Thanks for watching, I think there were very hot and interesting videos today. I will be grateful to you for your support, for subscribing, for your every like and every comment. Videos are released every day, so click on the bell to not miss. See you tomorrow.